what is up welcome to my channel so for today's video I'm continuing my Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath tutorial series where I am trying to do a tutorial with each of their palettes so for today's tutorial since I know you guys are picking this palette up I decided to just do Natasha Denona's newest palette this is her Biba palette so if you are curious of my thoughts about this palette I do have a whole review up and also an additional tutorial in that review so you're getting like two tutorials just today if you haven't checked out that video yet I figured since this is new I would get this tutorial out of the way and I just created a beautiful warm brown smoky eye that is actually wearable for this look it's not too much but it's still smoky but it's still neutral and it's just a beautiful warm brown and I mean this is just the palette to create neutral looks with let's be honest here so if you want to see how I got this look then let's just get into it so from the Biba palette, I'm taking the shade Tusk and I'm just using that underneath my brow to set the concealer I had under there. And then the next shade we're going into is Rayon, which is that cream to powder formula of hers where it looks much darker in the pan and much lighter on the lid. So I'm just using my Olimar Cosmetics brush and I am spreading that all over as my transition shade. Next, I'm taking the shade Pasha, and that is going to be the deepening color that is going to both warm up the look and add definition. And I'm just using this Luxie brush, and I'm even blending that all over my lid as the base color for our lid color, and then also making it very diffused. So the star of the show today is Rustic, and I'm just going to use my finger and apply that all over my lid. This is going to add that warm, bronzy, brown shimmer to the lid. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And then just using Monroe on a small detailed brush, and that's going to be my inner corner highlight and underneath the brow as well. So for my face primer, I used the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer and this was my first time using it and it was like really, really sticky, but then the stickiness went away after a while. I don't know, I'm definitely gonna have to play with this product more to really see what I think about it. Today I'm using an oldie but goodie, the Revlon Color Stick Foundation. It's been a while since I brought this guy out, but it's been one of my favorite drugstore foundation for years. This guy lasts so long on your skin, and I'm just using a regular beauty blender to blend it out. I started off layer by layer with this foundation and just built it up. We can break the distance. Taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, one of my favorite drugstore concealers, I am going to just apply that under my eyes and then take the leftover product and put that under my chin and other areas that I want to be highlighted. It's been a while since I've used my KKW Beauty baking powder and honestly I forgot how much I liked it. This really is a nice little setting powder for your under eyes. So you go KKW. I wish it wasn't so For bronzer, I'm just taking this old NARS palette, but there is the Laguna bronzer in there, and I'm just using a more precise bronzing brush, and I'm going to contour slash bronze with that shade. I take it faster than a heartbeat if I I'm now taking the Pretty Bulgur blush in the shade Hush Blush, and oh my gosh, I forgot how pigmented this shade was, but it is so complimentary to the eye look, and I'm using my Flower Beauty blush brush as well. Get to you, cause when you see the sun, I For highlight today, I'm using the Mary Lou Luminizer from The Balm from the Luminizer Squad palette. Quad thing, yeah. 
To set everything in, I'm using the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Honestly, I'm not crazy about this spray, but uh, I just haven't used it in a while. So here I am, again, not crazy about it. We can break the distance. Going back to the Biba palette, I'm taking Rayon again, and that's what I'm using along my lower lash line. I'm using that Luxie brush I was using earlier, which I will link down in the description box for you. And this is just gonna complete the eyeshadow. Since I love a good bright eye, I'm taking the ColourPop Gel Eyeliner in Honey Dude, and I'm putting that in my waterline just to open up my eyes since there is so much darkness in the shadow. For lashes today, I applied the Ardell Foaming Lashes in the style 817 off camera. These kept the look very natural, and then I used the Girlactic Lip Paint in the shade Spice. I really like this color because it's both nude and very, very warm, and it just really complemented this look. That is it this is the completed look i hope you guys found this video helpful and you enjoyed it let me know if you recreate this look and i will see you guys in the next video bye